what is going on everybody so today's call I got two units out of six not communicating with the E2 unit number two and unit number six so we're gonna have to dig into it and see why they're offline beautiful morning today not too hot so just to pause it here uh, the S bus that's the communication to the E2 it's daisy chain back to the E2 and you see the sales for temp sensors too right there which they get the reading and send it back to the E2. And just to show you what I'll be checking, I'll be checking the addresses and the wiring right here. So here you go, take a screenshot of this. So this one is unit number one. We're checking the wiring, make sure nothing's loose or cut. Kind of make sure it's addressed correctly. Just because it's unit number one, it's not gonna be addressed as number one. So we have to verify all the controllers. That one's all good, so move to the next one. So this one, this would be number two. So you can see the positive wire. I don't like it. It's uh, might have to redo that one. So I have to make sure this one's actually addressed correctly, the same as uh, the other one. So for these Prodigy controllers, when they're tied into the E2, they have to be set up in the network integration as L connection. And then you put the LCON address to whatever you want to set it up to. And then you just have to daisy chain it uh, each Linux unit to the E2 all the way back there. Make sure every unit is wired the same. Positive, positive, negative, negative. Right there, like that, but I don't like that positive. So this one, unit number four, that's addressed correctly. Just going through it real quick. This one would be number five. And again, I'm just checking the wiring, make sure that all the negatives are reds and all the positives are black. Make sure nothing's crossed over, which is not. So now we have to check this address. Network integration, the connection. And yep, set up as number five. Room sensor, that means it has a sensor going straight to the Linux. It's not reading one off the E2. This would be number six. So see what this one's set up for. And number six actually set up as number two. So I got two units, address is number two. So that's where my confliction is at. I gotta put your room sensor because I got a sensor going straight to the Linux Prodigy. It's not going off the E2. So the Prodigies was telling the E2 what temperature it is and it's giving it the command. And the E2 gives it the set points to the Prodigy. So changing that, now that I changed that, everything's online. Now they can dial into it if they wanna make set point changes. So they should be happy with that one. I know when you guys run these kind of calls, it's not gonna be that easy and there's more things to check out. So here, let me show you an extra step. This is a controller I have at home for training. So for this, you want to hit menu, number seven, and then number four, remote communication, number three, IP setup, and back up to C3, serial. And here, make sure if you have the wires to COM4, it's set up as Linux. So for this instance, on the PIV board, I have it as COM4, so it is set up as Linux. If you have a COM6, make sure that it's set up for Linux in the COM6. So on this PIP board, you see the wiring. It's a different store, but just to show you that COM4, the wires going into it, make sure they're tight. Nothing's loose coming out or shredded once touching the other one. Just make sure it's very secure. Now this is a store uh, dialed in. So this is the unit we were on earlier. So it's online right now, as you can see it, people can tile into it, make set point changes that they want. So right now, 65, eh, it's still cold. Then RTU number two. So they're both online and reading. Back online, everything's good. I'm just guessing somebody was going through the menu and accidentally hit the address and adjusted it. So eh, it happens. Thanks for watching again and uh, leave that like and you know what to do. Thank you so much.